My name is Molly Roberts. I am the daughter of Judy over there. Hi, Mama. <laughs> Just a quick note that if your parents are in public, tell you tell them you love them. Okay? Doesn't yes. matter if you're embarrassed, life is short, tell them you love them. And it really means a lot to them. So always say you love them in public, even if you're embarrassed. I work with Lifeboat Network. It is the first Minecraft server to be the bedrock partner. So when you went on I Minecraft with your phone and you click servers, Lifeboat was the first one that would pop up. It was the first one to do this. We sell stuff through Microsoft to you guys. So when you're on your Switch, your phone, and you go to Marketplace to buy a cool map with, I don't know, dinosaurs, because I love dinosaurs. That's the maps we make and sell to you guys. We also have a server to play on when you In high school, I worked at Starbucks. Fun stuff. In like the last year of high school and throughout college, I worked at GameStop. I also worked a summer at a reptile zoo and that was very impactful on my life because it taught me a ton. And recently, after college, I did substitute teaching for about a year and a half, and now I work at Lifeboat Network, which I am the marketplace lead administrator for Lifeboat Network, which is a fancy term of saying I'm the manager of that section. GameStop was very good to work at for the video game field because I learned what the customers wanted from their video games. Oh, I want more action, I want this, this bug drives me nuts, kind of things like that. I learned a lot talking to the customers. Substitute teaching also taught me a lot because I got to talk with high schoolers and younger kids, learning a lot about games through them and the cool hip new uh, words like swag. <laughs> 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 During my time at the reptile zoo, I learned some very important things like, God, I hate manual labor. <laughs> and I really like teaching the kids because there I would have to pull out the snakes and alligators and bring them to the kids who were terrified of these creatures I was bringing out. And I learned how to talk to kids and how to teach them about their fears, which actually calmed them down a lot because then they weren't so afraid of snakes or alligators, things like that, wiggly creatures. What do I do at my job? I work and bond with the community a lot. So I sit on Discord a lot of my day <laughs> and talk to the community, work with the kids that want to work with Minecraft. I make emojis for the community. I make Discord icons, anything to help my little community. What else do I do at my job? I organize and help kids make the Minecraft maps. So this is a screenshot of the way we build that I created. It's called the bounty board, exactly like what it sounds. Old West, you saw something on the bounty board, you take it off and you go hunt that person down. Except we're not hunting people down, we're building buildings. So some of these are like medieval style skins. We want somebody to make some Minecraft skins that are medieval looking. Rustic ship hanging from chains. So we want a rusty ship hanging, hanging from chains. You know, Minecraft has chains. and. You see they're like $20, $60, $15, $20. Anybody that passes a little build test we give them can do this. I also sort out problems that occur. Fights between children, money issues. I didn't get paid, why is the money not coming to me? Schedule conflicts of the kids. I basically manage them. I manage the time. And the fun part of my job, other than managing kids fighting and the hard stuff, because you guys will be more interested in the fun stuff, is making video game models. This is Dinner the Duck. The community named him Dinner because he's a duck and you have ducks for dinner. I make landscapes and I just play Minecraft in general. Those are some of the models I made that actually work, eat food work like a regular creature in Minecraft, and I teach the kids how to do that as well. These are some of the maps my kids have made. So Totems Plus, we did all the terrain and paths and buildings for those. Marketplace can do commands by themselves. We do potions. That one was commanded by one of our marketing teams, so all the potions do different things like make things shrink, stuff like that. 
craftable theme park. All the builds were done by the team. Enderman Skyblock, all done by the team. All the builds for craftable Lucky Block were done by the team. And all the textures for skeleton mobs, which made every mob in the game, which is an incredible amount of textures, skeletons. So. Fun stuff. What education do you need to be successful in a position of video games? For my specific job, I needed a bachelor's for very they told me that one of the reasons that they hired me was because I had a bachelor's degree and a lot of people who applied for the position did not have it. So because I had that bachelor's degree, I immediately got put into a pile of, hey, let's look at these people. So when you Google, do you need a college degree to work in video games? Google says yes. <laughs> For other video game jobs, when I looked at glassdoors.com, which is mainly where you can get uh, jobs of any kind, and a lot of them are remote now, so even if you don't want to work in the video game field, that is a very good resource. It's on the pages. 80% of the jobs need a bachelor's degree, which is four years of college. 15% need a technical school and five plus years of experience, and 5% of them need seven plus years of experience experience without a degree. But that means you would have had to start when you're about 10 years old. So you're kind of out of luck. <laughs> What's my education? And do I have a degree? And if so, what? Yes, I do have a degree. I went to Minneapolis College of Art and Design in the United States. I also went to the University of Brighton in England. So that's MCAD and that's Brighton's logo. My major is 3D animation focused in video games and creatures, so I really like designing creatures. I have a minor in teaching, which is good for substitution in, or substitute teaching in Minnesota and actual teaching in every other state but Minnesota. My focus when I went to Brighton was illustration and creature design. So that's quite a long list, but I did it. It's hard to do, but you guys can do it because I came from the same seats you guys are sitting in right now. Don't feel discouraged because of the area you're in. If I did this, you guys can do this. You can still do it. See, I, I actually got a $60,000 scholarship and I had a lot of bad grades. If I can do that, you guys can. I went to an art college, which makes it just a little easier because it's art, everything is art. Anything you do can be considered art. Woodworking, bam, it's an art. Drawing, bam, definitely an art. Anything is an art. So you can always go to some sort of college like that and learn skills that are needed. It doesn't matter what college degree you get. <laughs> so what, can, what path can you take to have a position like this? Like I'm talking about the college one, it doesn't have to be fancy doesn't have to be expensive. It just has to prove that you put up with it. My dad always says there's a pile of applications, one with degrees and one without, and in my job that turned out to be the case. And in a lot of video game companies, I'm sure that's true as well. My college of Minneapolis College of Art and Design was something that Disney hired out. It was a, it's a very known name, but my boss had no clue what it was. He'd never heard of it before. 3D animation doesn't really do anything for managing video games, does it? It's not the same, but it doesn't matter because I had a college degree. It showed I went through the education and I put up with it. Independent research is a really good thing to do. So you'll find your programs, things like that. That's how most of the people who don't have a college degree get jobs like this, is their portfolios are extremely good because they did their independent research and practiced. As Mr. Euclid said, shake hands. It's not the grades you get, it's the hands you shake. So my dad always said D's get degrees. I encourage you to do better than D's, but D's get your degrees. It still is a passing grade and shows you did the, the class. And make your own opportunities, make your own doors, Work hard, you'll get there. It's all about hard work and how much you put into it. 
Do you make a lot of money? I can feed myself and pay my bills. My bills come out to roughly $2,000 a month, so I can do that and feed myself, and a little more. Uh, Glassdoor says that the average game developer makes $30 or $38 per hour. This is also a gazillionaire map my coworker made. What kind of career can you have in the video game field? Well, there's a million. Probably a little less than a million. But <laughs> these are some of the things. 3D character modeling which is creating the 3D object of the video game character. Texturing, which is coloring the character. Yes, there is a job for coloring. That's all you do is color. There's a job for that. Rigging, which is putting bones in a model and making it move just like us. Animation, making the character run. Environments, which is like the path they walk on, the homes in the background, stuff like that. Concept art, it's kind of like a nice pretty drawing of what the video game will look like. Compiling, which is putting the video game character, the animation, and the environment all in one so the person can actually play the game. There's the programming. Managing, which is what I do. I manage everybody that's doing all the things. There's testers, which test the game for bugs, like do everything you possibly can in the game to break it. There's tool developers. Let's say you start in this program, and all of a sudden the video game can't take your 3D model because the file doesn't convert. Well, you can build a tool, and that tool that you built can convert the files. Story writer, you can write stories for video games for a living. Special effects, uh, fire coming from the hands. If the resources on your sheets are not enough, this is my contact information. If you want to build something for Minecraft for 20 bucks, that's my contact information. It's a okay to pull things out and take photos my contact information. If you have any questions, questions. How long does it take to make a, like a typical map? So a typical map can take anywhere from about two weeks, which is what our goal is, to six months. Do you get paid per project or per hour? Um, not you. If these guys were to do a map? Oh, uh, so if you apply, you get paid per project. So I commission it. Can we go back to the bounty board one? The, the... Yeah, boom. So what happens is I put something up here that says, I need a house. $20, $5, $20, it depends on the complexity of the house. Yeah. Uh, you put your name on there, and then you drag it to in progress. That means you're the one doing it. Oh. Any of the other kids can't, can't touch it. Yeah. Um, once you're done, you move it to task pending review, and I come through and I'm like, this is good quality, I'll pay you your $5. And then I move it to tasks approved, and then my coworker Dan handles some of the money and he writes it all down so the money man the magic money man can send you monies if so you can take only one and once that's done you can move it to pending review and you can take another but that's okay. it okay. Um, and then you have to wait until your reviews are marked if both of your builds have to go back to in progress because they don't meet a quality line one of them is lost because you can only have one in progress at a time yeah. Did you go to college right after graduating high school? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, did you ask for any accommodations at MCAD? Yeah, me. What about that. your IEP accommodations? Did My you... IEP? Yeah. Like extended time or having things read or any, anything on your IEP that you wanted in college? Or maybe that you wanted and didn't get? Or that you figured a way around? So my IEP from high school did not transfer to my college. Um, and since I was good at art, I could meet the deadlines because I always drew in high school. So I did not need my IEP in my college field, but they do have them. When did you graduate? 2016, I think, 2016.